I was talking with the team during the break about watching these clouds slide down the east side of those mountains. Now we're going to see a lot more of this dry air make its way into the area, but we do have our fingers crossed for some moisture by Thursday, and then it's going to dry out even more as we start that first week of December. We're watching those temperature changes over the last 24 hours, and you've heard about those temperature contrasts about 20 degrees. In fact, that's what we're seeing down here in the Concho Valley, 45 overnight, up to 62, and then back down into those 40s. We're going to continue to see that 20 degree spread, if not by 30 degrees by Thursday, but of much of the rest of the nation dealing with that big spread of temperatures as we see rounds of low pressure systems pushing through our region well off to the east right now 44 in San Angelo and everybody else joining us in those 40s and when we see that uneven cooling around the entire region we can see those pockets of warm pockets of cold with those patchy clouds pushing through still we can see some of those warmer areas off to the east now they're going to be dealing with a lot more severe weather as we start to make our way towards the middle of the week and the end of November already when we look across the nation we can see a little bit of those warmer temperatures hanging out near Oklahoma and Kansas but those colder temperatures not really up there in the Rocky Mountains of course you're dealing with a couple thousand more feet than up here in San Angelo and then off to the northeast near Canada near the Great Lakes they're still dealing with those freezing temperatures still seeing about 20 inches of snow or at least slated to see even more as the night progresses but we're watching off to the west as we see more of that moisture make its way into our area this is a large pocket of moisture really making its way up parts of East Texas. In fact, Houston is inside that crosshair right now for severe weather by tomorrow and into Thursday. They can see excessive rainfall as part of the storm that's going to push through our area by Thursday. It's going to be pretty interesting. We're watching that cold air off to the west coast near those mountains. That's what's going to slide into our area, but we are watching a development of the low pressure system that's going to start right about in this region. As we continue to watch these clouds really being pulled with that stronger storm near the northeast, you can see that westerly flow really pulling these clouds across in those upper levels, but on the lower levels, we're still dealing with those warmer temperatures. We are seeing some pretty interesting developments. We're going to see those clouds really stick around through Wednesday, then around noon or the mid early afternoon, those winds are going to pick up pretty strong out of the south and start to really warm us up. You're going to see that moisture really increase by about Thursday. We're going to have our best opportunity for some of that moisture. Now get a good load of this storm as it pushes out. We're going to see it continue push off to the east. Those clouds are really going to clear out by Thursday afternoon. This storm absolutely explodes, gets carried off to the northeast of us, and then right behind it, see all that cold air? Well, it's going to make its way down from the Rocky Mountains dry out and that's nothing but snow up there as it continues to make its way down to the Edwards Plateau but believe it or not that's going to kick us up into the 70s so let's focus on tonight where we're going to be getting down to those 40s again clouds are really going to be pushing in from the west by tomorrow those southerly winds are really going to pick up and we're going to see them about 10 to 15 miles per hour if not gusting up to 20 and we're really going to struggle to get up into those 60s with that cloud cover but by Thursday we're going to see so much southerly flow that we have a good opportunity to see some rain showers and those temperatures touching up into the 70s and then that's where that front is going to lock us believe it or not as we continue to wrap up November December we're going to be making our way into those 70 degrees well into the weekend while those lows are hanging out well into average as those clouds start to clear out we could see those colder temperatures make our way even in those mid 60s stay tuned we'll have more after the break you're watching KSAN News at 10.